Hello there! In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can prevent materials of throwable prefabs that comes with SteamVR from changing with hover events. You may not need this for your big projects, but for exploration of SteamVR plugin, this may confuse you and this will be the solution, one of the solutions. I want to start with importing SteamVR from Asset Store to my project. So SteamYard just imported. Now let me create my scene with my plane as a ground. And let's start by creating a material to it so that it will not be too bright for our eyes. Let's call it ground. And also I want to have an interactable material so that I can show you how it turns back to some other material after interaction okay and we will just close that part from our code okay let's go with red and for our brown let's go with some brown but it doesn't look like brown but okay now we will be adding a player prefer from steam yard uh, we are creating a colon to put our interactable game object just in front of our player. Hopefully, we will test it out before placing the game object. So let was SteamVR input file was not generated. Now it is generated. Continuing on. Now we are ready to test things out. So when you have main camera and also player prefab in the screen. You have two audio listeners. Two audio listeners bad for your unity. So just clean up one, which will be the normal camera. And leave your player alone with being only audio listeners. Uh, run your project. <laughs> and manipulate the height of your column while you are at it. Come on. Okay with the height, but maybe we could be closer to each other. Everything seems fine. It's time to add some trouble prefabs to see. So I have some trouble here. I am choosing Q because it will not fall off after the gravity takes them down. So let's have some more cube cubes up so we can test our case. I will be adding maybe I can create one for I can create a material for the column as well. The material control D to duplicate the material. Let's change its color. So everything looks fine. So I have a throwable uh, cube, which is clone of the preferred throwable cube. Comes with SteamYR. Here it's components. And uh, the behavior that changes the material of game object is this one. So what happens is uh, I have a material uh, when my hand ho hovers on the game object its material was set to shiny white highlight but when I top my hovering to that game object then it is uh, material will be set to shiny white I don't want that so I will be just uh, showing you with this one how it will normally behave. Other than that, I will just put my new interactable material to this one and also this one. No, not this one. This one should stay the same. This, these two will be the first examples that we don't want to happen. And this one will be the one that just save us from changing. Okay, let's go into VR and see how it will go. Hello, hello. You see these are all following. Uh, okay, now I will just put this one and when I take my hand back, it just changes color because on power and event of this game object sets its material to shiny white material. But when I do this, do it, do it to other game objects, it also happens because I was left this with that event, but this one will be safe, as you can see from here. And 
yes, this was the point of this video. Uh, so that in the next video, when I hover my hand and normally the materials will change. Now by using here, it will not change. I will just set the original material to this one. So you may not need to use this in your big game projects. But while you are playing on SteamYard and you see this as an odd thing, this is how you fix it. You either stop game object from changing material altogether like it will not highlight it so its material will not be never changed or you can create another script and say that at the start take the material of this game object and run and hover and event fires cause a function that sets the initial material to current game object material i will not be doing that i will just be simply setting the initial material from editor and yes i think that's it for this uh, tutorial more than a tutorial this was an exploration of steamyard plugin this was an odd behavior that when you hover a game object even though it's a default given game object uh, you see its material changes and you wonder why would it change like where my material go your material go with hand over and event like this one and your new material is shiny white material which comes with similar again but you can change it like like changing by changing the material and that's it for now if you like this video please consider leaving a like and subscribe if you want to see more in tutorials or develop while you are at it Say hi in the comments and tell me more about what you thought about this video. See you in the next exploration.